What is going on guys? Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Let's get into the news. We got a ton of it. First off, we got some huge news and huge leaks and huge video. It's a lot of hugeness for the new HTC U11 Plus, which will be announced on uh, November 2nd. Well, it looks like a video has been leaked of this phone. The guy is kind of, he's speaking in German, so I don't really know if he's a tech reviewer or in the news or whatever he is, but he shows off the phone in full detail. I will link this full video in the description down below. So a quick little breakdown on the phone. It should have a six inch display with an 18 by nine aspect ratio, 2K display. I believe it's LCD. Price of it is rumored to be about $850 American. You've also got a, a rotary dial-like app shortcut that's on the phone, so it's this weird, weird little thing where you can use a dial and go through apps that way. It seems kind of gimmicky. Uh, it's got water resistance. I'm not sure of which kind. I believe it's IP68, and it should have a 4,000 milliamp battery. So one of the biggest batteries on a flagship phone along with 128 gigabytes of internal storage. It'll also come in the colors of black, silver, and translucent. And lastly, that new phone from Razer has been leaked, at least the front image of it, along with the specs. It came out from a UK retailer. Check this out. First of all, the look of the phone, it looks exactly almost like a next bit Robin. It's got huge bezels, especially for phones that have come out today, but it has huge bezels because it will have front facing speakers. These are Dolby Atmos sound, dual front facing speakers and amplifiers certified by THX. So it should have some really good sound. As for the screen, it's a 5.72 inch GZO display with 120 Hertz refresh rate. So it should look really, really smooth when you're playing games and watching movies and a wide color gamut. Also the dual camera on the back is with autofocus and LED flash, which you'll have a 12 megapixel wide angle and a 13 megapixel uh, zoom camera. The long life uh, 4,000 milliamp battery, so another huge battery with Qualcomm quick charge 4.0, so the newest Qualcomm quick charging. Eight gigabytes of RAM, which is a huge amount. So it's looking spec wise like a beast. The look of the phone, not so much, but specs definitely. Now the Razer phone will be fully announced on November 2nd. So both of these phones back from the HTC U11 Plus and also uh, the new Razer phone, those are back-to-back -back days tomorrow and the next day. So make sure if you're interested, interested in that stuff, you keep your eyes peeled because you'll be able to watch some live streams on it or at least capture some videos. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. My question of the day is what do you think about that HTC U11? It looks pretty nice, right? right? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, let me know about that Razer phone. What do you think about like that? Those big bezels, but you have some huge speakers on the front. Let me know about that as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you have a happy Halloween. Be safe, guys. I'll see you down the road. Peace.